Dear confers, brothers and sisters, greetings from the general house here in Rome and from the church of St. Alphonsus in front of the icon of our mother perpetual health. Rather than send another letter this weekend, I thought it would be good to speak with you more directly. First of all, thank you to the hundreds of you, confrères, sisters, lay missionaries of the Most Holy Redeemer, associates, family members. Thank you to all of you who have been in touch with me and other members of the general government, assuring us of your prayers and concern and sharing news about the situation in so many places across this world. We pray for you every day. We remember your intentions in every Eucharist. We pray especially for those who have died, for those who are sick, for their families, and for everyone confined to our houses. Here in Rome, we are entering the fourth week of lockdown. So far, we are all well. We are keeping all the directives about social distance, preventive measures, self-isolation. In small groups, we gather each day for morning and evening prayer and for the Eucharist. Although we eat in the same refectory, we keep the same, the proper distances. We have celebrated St. Clement and St. Joseph, anniversaries and birthdays, and the special moments of prayer together with the Holy Father and with all of you across the world. It is important for us to have a daily rhythm of life and to support one another at this time. I know that most of you are following similar restrictions and directives. I am especially proud that we continue to reach out to others through online missions in some provinces, through streaming daily mass and adoration in others. Some of our confreres are hospital chaplains and continue to visit the sick with the comfort and presence of Christ. Others, confreres, lay missionaries, associates, are serving the poor and the abandoned with food, with phone calls, with online chats, through social media. The Academia Fonziana here in Rome is offering virtual classrooms, distance learning online. We are exploring creative ways of staying close to people in service and in compassion and solidarity. Congratulations to all of you, and may God bless our mission to reach out to the abandoned and the poor now more than ever. Like all of you, the general government has to completely rethink our calendar for 2020. Many vis visits and events have already been cancelled or postponed, and we cannot yet begin to set new dates. But this too shall pass, and we will keep you informed as and when we can. I want to offer a special prayer of gratitude here before our Mother of Perpetual Help, to all our confreres and workers who are continuing to serve our communities in these difficult circumstances. Superiors, bursars, secretaries, cooks, cleaners, laundry workers, along with doctors, nurses, healthcare workers, and all the thousands of volunteers you are the real heroes in this crisis. May God bless you all and your families. Finally, faced with this situation in which it is impossible to pray together physically, to celebrate together, to accompany our beloved deceased, their families and friends, we continue to persevere together in prayer and in hope. In the words of St. Clement, whose jubilee we are celebrating, courage, 
God is in charge. God guides everything for his glory and for our good. Let us be guided by God and all will be well. This is the only thing we have to keep in mind. Let us be strong in heart and encourage each other to do good. Let us treat one another with love. May God bless you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mother of perpetual health, pray for us.